Hey everyone, Boone here from Shutterstock.com. So today I want to show you how you can create some basic motion graphics inside of Premiere Pro's Essential Graphics panel. And I'm going to show you how to do this in three easy steps. So let's get started. So for step one, I'm going to create the graphic elements, which consist of a simple text element and a rectangular background. So to create the text, I'm going to go down here and grab the type tool and then click on the program monitor. Then I'll type out lower third. Then I'll grab the selection tool again, and put this right into position here. Now I'm going to bring up the essential graphics panel so we can see all of our tools here. To do that, I'm going to go to window and select essential graphics. And now to see all the tools, I need to go to the edit tab here and make sure that my layer is selected. And also make sure that you have the clip selected, otherwise you won't see anything. So now if I grab this layer here, I can see all the tools here. Now to create the background, there's a couple of different ways I can do that. I can go over here and select this new layer button and select rectangle, or I can go over here, you'll see a pen tool actually, and there's also a rectangle and an ellipse tool. So I have the rectangle tool selected. Now I'm gonna, with my clip selected, I'm gonna go over here and create a quick rectangle on our program monitor. So now I have the rectangle, you can see it as a new layer here in the Essential Graphics panel. I'm gonna right click on this shape, select rename, and then type in background so we can keep things organized. And then I'm gonna simply grab it and drag it below our text here, which will put it below. Now I'm gonna grab the selection tool again and kind of position our background. And to really get it perfectly aligned, I'm gonna select both assets here in the Essential Graphics panel and use my Align and Transform tools. And I'll align these vertically and horizontally. And then you can see these are kind of perfectly aligned here. Now for the last step of getting these prepared for animation, I need to grab my background rectangle and move the anchor point. Because as you see in the example here, the background animates in from left to right. And the animations are always in reference to the anchor point. So you can see I have the anchor point here. And again, make sure you have the background selected and not the text layer. So I have my background selected. And as I mouse over this anchor point, you'll notice that I get that anchor point symbol or the move symbol. So this means I can just simply grab this and move it around. And I'm gonna hold my command key, which will automatically snap it. And I'm gonna snap it right to the center left here. And then release. And now my graphic is ready for animation. When you look at our example, you'll see that there's two properties that are being animated here. For the text, it's a simple opacity animation. And for the background, it's a simple horizontal scale. Now, there are five different properties you can actually animate inside the Essential Graphics panel. And when you look over here, you'll see these symbols here under the Align and Transform section. We have the position, the scale, opacity, rotation, and anchor point. And as I hover over these icons here, you'll see it says toggle animation, position, toggle animation, scale, toggle animation, opacity. So this is what we're gonna do here. And for our animation, it's one second in length. So I've put a marker down here. I'm gonna zoom in on the timeline. You can see there's a marker here right at the one second mark. Now, this is where I'm gonna turn on animation. So first, I'm gonna select the background, and then I'm gonna turn on animation for scaling. First, I wanna unlock the scale lock because I just wanna have it animated horizontally. So now I'll hit that toggle animation button for scale and that's gonna add a keyframe here. So we have our end position. Now I'm gonna drag my playhead to the beginning where I want my animation to begin. And I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna change the scale. I'm gonna bring this down to zero. And now you'll see it scaled it back there. And now when I play this, you can see I have my animation for the scale. Now I'm gonna go back to the one second mark, grab the clip, and now we're gonna do text. So I'm gonna select our text here. I'm gonna go down to opacity, toggle on animation for opacity, bring the playhead back to the beginning, and then bring our opacity down to zero. And we'll play this back. You can see we have our animation. So now while I can do some basic animation inside of the Essential Graphics panel, if I wanna fine tune these keyframes, I need to go into the Effect Controls panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up by going to Window and selecting Effect Controls. Now with my clip selected, I can see all of the assets here. I can see the two layers here. I have the background and then I have the text and I can see keyframes here. So to actually see these keyframes, I'm gonna open up the layer here. And if I zoom in, I can see my horizontal scale keyframes. Now I'm gonna actually grab these, 
drag them out just a little bit so we can actually see that keyframe. Now I don't need this vertical scale keyframe. Now what I want to do is smooth these out. So to smooth them out, I'm going to select the beginning keyframe and I'm going to simply go to ease out, right click and select ease out. And then I'm going to right click on our end keyframe and select ease in. And I can even smooth this out a little bit more. And now also for our animation, we want the text to come in a little bit later. We don't want it to come in that early. So I'm going to close our shape attributes here. I'm going to open up the text, go down to the keyframes here, and we can see our start keyframe here. Now all I need to do is simply drag that closer to our end keyframe. And now I'm going to full screen this and watch our animation. And you can see now it's much better than what we had to begin with. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.